Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see here, I am still in this Airbnb, but hopefully just here for a few more weeks. But I thought I would let you know that today I have done an amazing collaboration with a few of my favorite interior design YouTuber friends. I know you all love them too. So I have five YouTubers that I have asked this really interesting design question, if I do say so myself, and that is what decor items or furniture pieces are really worth splurging on? And which ones do you think are really worth saving on. So I reached out to all these YouTube designers with that very simple question and I got some really interesting responses back. Some people may even disagree with each other which I think is going to be interesting and don't forget to stay tuned till the end of my video where I'm going to give you my own personal tips on what items to splurge on and which ones to save on. So let's start with the fabulous fantastic Julie Koo on her splurge and save items. I was trained in hospitality design and started to do a little bit more commercial and retail. And finally, I'm specializing in custom home residential. The one thing that is consistent that I absolutely think all homeowners should splurge on is custom made items for your home. We're talking about those one of a kind items, those artisan items that are handmade, that are custom made to order. This may include custom window treatments for those windows and doorways in your home. It may include custom upholstery for those existing furnishing items that have been passed down in your family. It could also be those really cool Etsy finds from local artisans that you find online. Essentially, you're looking for something that's one of a kind, custom, and unique only to you. The items that you can skimp on is lighting because clearly there are designer dupes that are affordable for every single budget. Pinterest makes it so easy for you to upload an image of a light fixture and it will find you designer duplicates at a cost that is right for you. If you're on a tight budget, think about sourcing secondhand furniture. You can look for really cool pieces at your local flea markets, thrift stores, eBay, OfferUp, Craigslist. Essentially what you're looking for is really solid framing. Then you can splurge on the upholstery to refinish the piece and custom make it to your own style. I totally agree with Julie's recommendation of saving on lighting. Ikea has some amazing lighting pieces. I talk about that a lot on my channel. Um, they've got some beautiful Pascot pendants. They've you know, got some amazing ones at Target. There's just like so many really amazing lighting fixtures. You don't need to spend a whole lot of money. Now let's head over to Kiva from DIY with KB to give us her favorite splurge and save items as well. My name is Kiva and I run DIY with KB, where I teach people how to achieve the luxe look for less. If you're splurging, I say spend money on a good rug. Rugs play a really crucial role because they either tie in all of the colors in your room and make it look very cohesive or they introduce a brand new color. Either way, you cannot go wrong. Cheaper rugs also tend to be printed, which means that they lack that texture that you want to make your rug really interesting to look at and plus it's just not comfortable on your feet and practicality is important. Last but not least, more expensive rugs tend to be made of better quality materials, which means that that rug is going to be durable. You can take it from this home to your forever home. Now, if you know me, you know I love to DIY my own art. That's where we're going to save money. Unless you have an artist that you really want to support, make it yourself. Every store has all the materials you need, like Dollar Tree, Target, Amazon, Walmart. You can get these materials for super cheap. Not only is this a really fun family bonding opportunity, but it allows you to have a piece of art that no one else has. So it's a really good conversation piece. And plus, it's just so cheap and fun to make. So thank you, Kiva. I really love that Julie and Kiva both had a slightly different perspective on what to do with art in your home. And I think this sort of really speaks to both their channels, which are great. And by the way, you should check out um, all channels, by the way, will be linked in the description. Um, but they both have a kind of a different design philosophy around what to do with art. I think they both make sense. I think if you are really handy and you love to DIY and you want to do it yourself, then I think going to Kiva's channel and checking out how she does it is an amazing idea. I also think that if you want to to invest in something custom but you don't necessarily want to do it yourself because you're maybe like me and you don't like to paint or use a glue gun then maybe check out Julie's channel and you can totally do what Julie says and really kind of pay local artists to kind of create something really beautiful and handmade and wonderful and perfect for you so both pieces of advice are amazing and definitely uh, worth checking out now let's head over next to talk to Baina from Baina.com and she can give us her favorite splurge and save items My name is Baina Hughley. I'm an interior designer and I just moved into a new apartment that 
has to be pretty much completely furnished. So I am living the life right now of trying to figure out what to save on and what to splurge on. Now, in terms of splurging, I never compromise on window treatments. I personally think that window treatments read as part of the architecture and the space. And when you're decorating, that's literally half the battle. So I usually stick with either a linen, silk, or a velvet because the difference between a high quality textile and a cheap one is night and day. And you can see it from across the room. So never buy cheap, short curtains. Now, just because you're investing your money in high quality materials doesn't mean you can't get a bargain. If you know what you're looking for, one of those three materials, you can actually find it at thrift stores. And I actually found these four amazing silk drapery panels fully lined for $10. I mean, I can't, like, I can't even. Now, in terms of what to save on, I always save money on case goods. And vintage pieces are so much more high quality than a lot of the furniture that's out there now. And a huge piece like a sideboard can be really expensive when you're buying it new. And if I don't like the finish, you could take it to someone to lacquer it or refinish. I've done that a bunch of different times. And then you end up getting a really amazing, high quality, heavy, substantial piece, but then you're customizing it and it looks fresh and new. So those are my tips. If you're interested in my home makeover, I'm gonna be doing lots of videos, having fun decorating this space. And I hope you'll join me over there and thank you so much for including me in this video. Have a great day. So what Baina is saying makes a ton of sense. I think actually I talked about drapery panels as an interior design mistake in a video that I did a while ago, so I totally agree. Now let's head on over to Arvin to see what he has to say on his splurge and save items. Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and the one thing that I would definitely say is worth splurging on would be your sofa. It is the largest piece of furniture that's gonna be in your living room. We spend a lot of time on our sofa, so it has to be comfortable, it has to be cozy. Make sure you take your time, test out a bunch of different sofas to make sure that you are getting the exact one that you want and that is going to fit your needs. Whether it be a lot of lounging or is it going to be for a formal living room where you're just gonna sit down and look a little pretty, okay. <laughs> Accessories and decor, you could definitely save your money and go shopping for antiques and vintage. You can also save a ton of money on decor and accessories if you shop smart at Home Goods. By the way, Nick, thank you so much for having me. This is such a fun video, but over at Home Goods, you can find designer inspired pieces and sometimes you can find authentic luxury pieces as well. It's really all about the hunt and taking your time finding the best quality pieces at an affordable price point. So I think Arvin mentioning a sofa makes a ton of sense. I'd also add a bed in that category. Basically think of things that you're gonna be using a lot of and really invest in quality. I actually just did a video on how to choose a couch, so I totally get where Arvin's coming from. Just really investing in the quality pieces, especially ones that you're gonna be using over and over and over again. Um, you're gonna be on your couch every single day, so make it a good one. Now let's head over to Valentina from House of Valentina for her picks. Hi, I'm Valentina Fussell with the House of Valentina. I'm so delighted to be a part of such a fun video idea. Here at House of Valentina, we do a lot of renovations. So I always recommend to my clients that they splurge on things like paint and their flooring. These are the services that will really set the stage for your entire home. And they're always worth splurging on and really setting the stage for your home. Now, if you've already got those all finished, the other things that I always say are worth splurging on are the things that are gonna really get a lot of use. So faucets, sofas, chairs, mattresses, spend the money on those and it will really give you a good base that you can really build upon. When it comes to saving, I am queen of saving. I love to be able to save money and do the same for my clients. But I always tell them to make sure that they understand their style and they don't let their budget dictate it. You can always find go arounds, home goods, Target, all those places have really great things that will help you create your style on a budget. But if you don't know what your style is, you'll end up wasting a lot of money in the search of trying to find it. So make sure you know who you are, find that style and create that beautiful home that you'll just love for years and years. So Valentina's picks are super spot on and just a really great jumping off point, I think, for my own picks for my, your splurge or save items. So I personally recommend splurging on items that are timeless, 
as timeless as design can be, um, and also uh, just really like quality items that you're going to be using for years to come. Things like, that have been mentioned in this video, but I think are worth mentioning again, things like rugs, things like couches, things like your bed, things like countertops. If you're doing a renovation, your flooring, your countertops, these are items that you're gonna be using over and over and over again. Things like faucets and bathroom accessories, you're not swapping those out every six months. Those are things that are designed to last you probably somewhere hopefully in the four or five years plus crowd, maybe even 20 years, depending on you know how often you choose to renovate, right? These are things that are gonna last you for years. So really investing in quality and really investing in sort of that timeless design that is gonna be there for years and years and years to come, I I think is a really good and smart move. Um, I think items that you can save on are those just, I'm gonna personally just give a nod to those really trendy pieces. I mean, I love talking about trends. If you check out all these channels that are gonna be listed down below, all these other channels, they talk about trends because we love them, because they're fun, and it's really great to just see what's new and happening in interior design. That's part of what makes us all love interior design. But I think when you really wanna buy into some of these really cool trends, just be conscious of the fact that what is trendy today is not gonna be trendy probably in two, three, four, five, years. So maybe you're like really in love with like a really trendy color like teal or mustard. Um, really trendy right now in all the shops, but it might not be something that you want to have for years to come. You might get really sick of mustard. I'm just here to tell you. So I would personally say that those accessories, those kind of decor items, things like pillows, things like throws or blankets, things where you're kind of incorporating some of those really trendy fabrics or trendy colors, probably worth saving on because they're probably not going to stand the test of time and be with you for for four, five, six years plus. Um, those are my personal picks for what to splurge on and what to save on. So thank you to all the wonderful content creators for taking part in this collaboration. All of their channels are linked down below. And if you'd like to check out my timeless design video, I sort of touch on some of the stuff that I talked about in my own personal splurge and save tips. So I'll see you all in that video.